Well, good morning. It's a cold day here in Minnesota. Uh, a few months ago, I blogged about a uh, henna tattooed wood floor, and I'm back now. Uh, the homeowner has uh, uh, scheduled a resand of the floor, and I just thought I would include you uh, in uh, in the process. I'm starting out with a. Um, 60 grit piece of paper on the drum sander and uh, you'll want to put on your earplugs, put in your earplugs. I'm going to be uh, starting up the dust containment and the drum sander and uh, by and by you'll see the sander come into view and uh, you'll see just what it takes to remove henna tattoos from a maple wood floor. Okay, so as I say, this is a uh, 60 grit piece of paper on a, a continuous belt sander. And um, it was necessary, to, the only way to get a henna tattoo out of a floor is to, uh, is to go deeper than the tattoo itself. And th on this particular floor, the, tat the, uh, the henna stopped at the sealer. It went through uh, a water-based finish, uh, hit the... Uh, uh, sealer and stopped. And with, without that uh, acrylic sealer, uh, the, the burns probably would have been much deeper and required uh, more sanding. This is not a cheap uh, fix. I mean, I have to go wall to wall now in, in this room uh, so that uh, to, to do the repair. Uh, even though the tattoo was, was, uh, was here, um, oh, oh, uh, where a young lady had uh, done her ankles uh, on the side of a bed. It re does still require that uh, the whole room be sanded. 
And I'm sorry to have to tell you that. The solution to this problem is to not have it in the first place. If you uh, tattoo with henna, make sure you have a drop cloth, anything, some kind of protection between uh, you and the henna and, and the wood floor. And, and this won't happen. Um, Woodfloorsforever.org is where you can go if you uh, would like to uh, uh, know what to use for floor protection. Uh, I've got some ideas there. Uh, Woodfloorsforever.org. If you have any other questions, uh, just uh, hit the contact button and, uh, and ask away. Uh, that's it.